What's happening everyone, we are back today with another video which I did not want to do as you can see by my face. But yesterday pulling up outside my house we had a little issue to say the least with the new wishbones. To be fair they've been giving me shit since ever I fitted them. Um, the actual ball joint managed to work its way out of a hub. And my wheel decided to go back and crush the wing in. And obviously the wishbone dropped out and destroyed the barrel of my wheel. Well, not destroyed it, but it's done a good job of ruining it anyway. Um, so today we have gone to Euro Car Parts this morning. Well, we went there twice. We went there twice this morning because they said, yeah, your parts are ready. And then two minutes later, they ring me back and I'm literally around the corner and say... You're going to have to come back at 11 because we can't find your wishbone. And I'm like, cheers guys, much appreciated. So, we're actually reverting back to the standard wishbones, which means we'll actually be able to take the lock stoppers off the rack as well and actually have some lock because we've got less than one full turn of lock and even just driving on the street, it's, it's okay, but there are certain things like parking up or whatever, and it's a bit of a nightmare I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it and say it's all bloody sunshine and rainbows so yeah that's pretty much the job for today as you can tell I'm so excited to do it I really I just can't be fucking bothered fuck these wishbones they've pissed me off they've damaged the car they've just given me grief I got the car tracked yesterday as well and again even that alignment issues I've had alignment issues since I've done these and even when it got tracked but even tracked up, they were still pisses of fart. So I guess it sort of makes sense on why it wouldn't align itself properly. And it would always, because I mean, I actually got it driving straight just by doing it with a bit of string out here, like on in the street. And two days later, it was pissed again. And it was like, what the hell is going on? So yeah, they look cool. Yes, they look really nice in white and stuff like that, but there's no point having something that looks good if it doesn't work correctly. So we're not going to keep the wishbone standard. We will probably be putting some power flex bushes in the future. But for now, I just want to be able to drive my car. I need to sort the wings out as well now. So yeah, let's just get to this. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So just buzz the wheel off, as you can see. Folded the wing in quite nicely. And that's before I bent it out. It was really out. So I'll just put a picture before end. But as you can tell they weren't in great condition anyway um but as you can see with all the fitment off wheels are rubbing against the liners they've destroyed those wheels are rubbing against the bloody wishbones and where the wishbone actually came out as you can see put a nice line in the barrel of the wheel as well so i think it's safe to say that these things can piss off because I can't be bothered with them no more and not only that as well you'll see when I pull the bottom ball joint out of there how it's gone flat and it needs replacing anyway so it's a case of actually trying to find another bottom ball joint not only that you don't even know if that one's the correct one because it's ripped out so yeah just just go standard and then let's just forget this so all I'm going to do is save a bit of time there are two bolts under here. Actually, yeah, so two bolts under here, and we'll take this subframe bolt out as well. And then it's just a case of this bolt here, that one out of the hub, and then this thing should be able to come out. Let's put you on a timer. Okay, so that's the old one off, as you can see. There you go. It's literally pulled through. So, that's no good.
And there's for the new standard one. So let's throw this bad boy on, I suppose. Okay, so I managed to get that in. It took a few taps of a hammer. Yeah, it looks crap, but I don't care because it's in now. I think where the old bracket was a lot skinnier than this new, than obviously the original, um, it sort of squashed the subframe in a bit. Yes, I've caught it a couple times as well. Fucking annoying, but I'll just try and get a touch-up pen for whatever colour this is, I can't even remember. Um, and then I found out that the bolt for this side that was on the tubular ones was too small so luckily I ordered some spares a while ago so we'll whack those on now and also with this size as well I had to end up actually grinding away part of the bush because it was just too thick nightmare That's a bit better. Okay, so we're all back in now. As you can see. So now we haven't got that arm coming across. We can now actually get rid of the um, stoppers in the rack. So I've got the cutters out of me and I'm a bit lazy. So I'm going to just try and use my trusty lever. I managed to slip the boot off and actually get that off so all I'll do is just I'll cut I'll leave that cable tie there and just cut it we'll get that boot back on and then we'll go and do the other side whoa
other side on as well, not as bad, but um, still gave me a bit of grief. Sort of figured out how to do it in the end. If you go in at an angle, it works out a bit better. Um, still not great though, so probably won't be a while till I change these bushes because that was not fun at all. Um, but yeah, all back together now. So all I'm gonna do is just put some proper clips on these boots, remove the lock stopper from this one as well. And hopefully that should be it so I'll get it all back together show you a quick final here it is and then we'll go from there okay so it's all back together now as you can see sorry the footage is a bit jumpy on this one it was just a pain in the ass and to be fair it was a pain in the ass and to be fair I just wanted to get the job done I haven't been too happy with this car recently um, Hopefully we'll start doing some things again that should put a smile on our faces. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to give it a test drive, see how it feels. Hopefully it doesn't try and kill me this time. <laughs> but um, but no, hopefully I can just get it tracked up. I've got some new pinch bolts on the way because one of them is a bit funny. I've just put it in for now. So once they're here, I'll refit those, get it tracked, and hopefully we should have a car that drives straight again. But yeah. That's been all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you'll be able to see. Yes, they're not white wishbones what we wanted, but they still look pretty good to be fair. It's just, you know what, aftermarket wishbones are like with painting. You can breathe on them and it comes off. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.